they're the most sensitive part of your body. They have the most nerves. It just hurt one of your fingers and you find out. These hands have picked flowers. They've written stories. Well, these hands have done a lot of swimming in Minnesota lakes. They've failed math tests. They have attempted to dig to China. Paddle canoes in the Adirondacks. Rake a lot of sand traps and mow the lawn a lot. You know, they're starting to grow calluses. Not serious calluses, not the ones that you see on people who have spent years of their lives working, but they're getting there. They've gone through school. They've held hands with other people. I held the hand of my husband when we got married. I have held my dying child in my arms. Everything you do, you do through, the, through your hands. I think you can tell a lot about someone based on their hands. I ha used to have always have a fascination if I were interviewing people to see what they did with their hands. They're kind of the mirror of our thoughts a lot of times. I always had difficulty finding gloves to fit me because my hands are very small. So when I was younger, it looked like baby hands or something. I'm sure they don't know. Now they look old, but I don't care. They've made a long, good journey. <laughs>